Hey everyone, welcome back. So I'm doing another vlog. It is Saturday the 5th of June, I wanna say. I, uh, I vlogged last weekend and I haven't looked at the footage yet. I'm just trying to like gradually get back into filming so that I can start uploading soon. I've got three more shifts at the ice cream parlor, so that's three weeks. Um, this Sunday, so tomorrow, next week, and then the week after. As I said, I don't really have any plans. I wanna look back at some of the footage I've got. I accidentally deleted some footage um, from vlogs I'd filmed about a month ago, which I'm quite annoyed about because it was showing like how I do my nails, but I ran out of storage and just like went through and deleted and then I was like, wait, I would know what I've just deleted and oh, anyway. But I just thought I would start off the vlog. I also was doing some coloring in my coloring book. Um, I finished off one of my other ones and I started one yesterday. So I think I'm gonna finish that this morning and then I can move on from that one and get everything else done. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have a chilled morning. I'm watching more Harry Potter reactions um, because I love them. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys once I have finished that, I think. Okay, so I finished it. I'm very pleased. It looks so cute. I'll show you the other pages. There's this one. We've got this, which is like technically the start of the book. So I've technically done two pages. Um, but then I also did the front page. So yeah, this is the next one on the agenda. I've just popped on a face mask. The one that I have been using over the last, I think this is my third time using it now, is the Ordinary AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution. I feel like I may have said about this in my last vlog. I'm not sure, but I really, really like it. Um, it looks a bit scary putting it on and I was convinced it was gonna stain my face. But yeah, you leave it on for 10 minutes max. And yeah, then you just wash it off. But I have been loving this, so I thought I would do some of this today. It's now 11 o'clock, five to 11. So I'm like, just having such a chill day. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure tomorrow is gonna be busy at work because it's hot. It was so busy last week. Okay, it's a little bit later. I've just had my lunch. And I was just thinking like, I was just looking at, um, the dates of when I need to do my nails and turns out I need to do them today because two weeks time I'm at a wedding so I will have had to do them before that so now is the perfect time they have actually grown out quite quickly they're not perfect but you can kind of see the growth and um, I've probably had these on a week and a bit I can't actually remember when I did them no it must be nearly two weeks now I'm just trying to decide like what to do I think I'm gonna go with this but rather than blue, I'm gonna go with like hot pink, just because I really wanna use this, but I'm just not sure if it's gonna look right. Um, an actual light pink and white. But I feel like it could look really, really dodgy, so I'm gonna just kind of give it a go and see. Like, is it gonna look better with a baby pink? But I, like, I'm feeling hot pink because it's warm. Also, I've spent the time topping up all of my little uh, nail popsicles I don't know what they're called but I call them popsicles um and yeah because I had quite a few that I hadn't labeled so all of them have like little labels on I've also just placed another polish order but there were some colors I really wanted and depending on the dress I'm wearing for the wedding like I might want different ones but I've got quite the collection now um but I thought I would talk you through some of the products that I use because I have quite a few different ones um, I have a few spares as well here. This usually stays in my wardrobe, but I bring it out when I'm doing my nails. So um, to take off my nail polish, I use the My Gel Magic Gel Remover. I love this stuff. I think it works a treat. I'll show you how I do that. I then use Blue Sky Base and Top Coat. I do have some other brand ones that I haven't got onto yet that came in sets, but I bought these separately. Um, and I really, really like them. One of them leaks a little bit, which is kind of annoying, but yeah, I really like them. And then um, I actually have an oil. It's by The Ordinary. It's the 100% plant-derived squalane. This is technically for like your face. It didn't work for me on my face, but this works so good afterwards. It's just like water. It's 
surface hydration and I really love it. I keep them in here. I don't really have like specific brands, but I've got some nail files. This is a new one I'm going to use today. It's from Primark. Um, I've got some of these little tools, which I will leave a link to down below. There's a dotter and then also um, little brushes, which are new. And then I will also leave a link down below to these tools. Um, I've got a like cuticle cutter and these as well um this is so great for like pushing back your cuticles and that kind of thing this is a genius tool which i use to scrape off oh look how wrinkled my thumb looked i used to scrape off all of like my excess um nail product and then this is another dotter that's kind of like the main products that i use um and then i do also just have one of these which is the classics pump it up nail polish remover um i don't use this to actually take off my nail polish i use this just in between layers to like dehydrate the nail i find it really works anyway i'll explain that all later and then the lamp that i use again i'll leave a link to this down below i'm not sure on the brand but it's this one it's got an automatic thing so if you put it in it automatically does it but you can also do 10 seconds 30 seconds 60 seconds and 99 seconds and it does a countdown on the screen which i love <laughs> okay so i have set up another camera on well, my phone to film what i'm actually doing so the first thing i'm doing is taking my actual nail polish off so i start off just with my nail file and i literally just scrape it um the rougher the nail file like the better it works and i just kind of scrape off that top layer and i do that for each of the individual nails Tell me what you're thinking. I need to know your feeling. If you can show me, you need to know my story. But don't get too close to me. Okay, once all of the nails have been filed, I take my Miley Magic Gel Remover and I basically just put this on, leave it for about five minutes, and then scrape it off using this tool here which i mentioned previously the one that's got the little triangle this works so well and i basically just keep reapplying until it's off and i find this works really really well because the acetone just doesn't like my nails it makes them sore <laughs> Okay, so they've probably been on not quite five minutes, but I can see they're kind of starting to bubble. Um, I don't know how well you can see. So I'm gonna scrape them off now and it might take a couple times, but yeah, that is what the thing is. I'm now watching a new Harry Potter thing. Oh my God, obsessed. Don't call me weird. Feeling, if you crush on me, you need to know my story, but don't get too close to me cause I need my Okay, so um, they're not quite finished, so I'm going to um, just file them down a tiny bit more, not loads because I don't want to hurt my actual nail, and then I'm going to pop some more of the gel remover on and get back to it. I need my fantasy. So I'm going to attempt scraping the rest off now. It may take one more because I did quite like a thick coat of these because I was using a thin brush on these specific nails. So they kind of have more coats than I usually would. So it's taking a little bit longer to get off than it usually does, which is typical for a video. Like it never normally does. <laughs> Okay, so I have done my nails, I've got everything off. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to file them down and do my cuticles. So obviously I'm just gonna use my normal nail file to file them. And then I've got my little, I don't actually know what it's called, but a cuticle pusher and this little thing here, which is a dream of just getting out the bits of cuticle. And then I don't always use my clippers. Um, it just depends kind of how bad they are. I'm not a pro at doing my cuticles, but yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then my nails will be pretty much ready for painting. Uh, 
Um, they are all filed. One of them did split a little, so it's a little bit shorter than I would have hoped. But um, I did take them down because they just got a little bit too long and I just thought I want them to be good for the next time I do them. So I've taken them down a little bit shorter so that um, they'll be okay at next times. As I take this lovely brush. So I'm taking this little brush, which is what I use for putting on the nail polish remover, the acetone. Um, I'm going to take my nail file and just brush over my nail just like a really thin layer and this just kind of roughens it up a little bit if it's too soft like too smooth i feel like the nail polish doesn't cling do it in one direction because if you do it in multiple it makes the nail smoother and then i'm taking this little brush and i'm going to dip this into the acetone because that is what i do and you literally just scrape it just pop it over. You don't need too much. Try not to get it on your skin because at least if you have sensitive skin, it does not like it. My nails, my nails, my fingers don't like it. Um, and this just dries the nail out and I find it really, really works. So once that's dry, you don't want to do it if it's wet because it just does not work. You can then go ahead and do the base coat. So I'm just using my Blue Sky base coat. Um, so I pop my nails in usually I do between 60 and 90 seconds um, But when I'm like doing my base coat, I like to do 90 seconds just so I like know it's done um, I know sometimes with 60. It's just not quite fully hard. So yeah, I go for 90 just to be sure it takes a little bit longer But like what does that really matter and then yeah, we can move on to doing the second hand Okay, so the next thing that I'm doing is I'm taking my like main colour. So the colour that I'm using today is by the brand Candy Coat and it's the shade 233. Um, I haven't used this before, this is a new one so I'm very excited to use it. Um, and before I like fully put that down though, I will use um, another very very thin layer of the acetone because I just think that works really really well. So I have done the like base colour, um, I've done two coats, I might have to do an extra on a couple of them, but three of the fingers I'm going to attempt to do flowers on. So I've got this little like, it's actually a coaster, but I use this for like whenever I'm using nail brushes and I just take the colours. So the first colour I've got is from Candy Lover, it's just like a cheap brand, I wouldn't highly recommend them but for like little bits. They work really well because they're so small um, and this is in like 001 so I just put a little bit of it onto, I call it the palette, I mean it's literally a coaster. And then the other shade that I have is by Beatles which I actually highly recommend um, and I've got the shade 460 which is white. It's a really like strong white and you could literally put this on your nail and use like one coat, it's so good. I'm going to just follow the picture that I have and attempt to do the flowers in that way. Um, I think I'm gonna struggle. So I am just doing the last like little bits of the flowers on my nails, they're currently in the lamp. Um, and then I'm just going to look and see if I need to do any more of the pink layer on the other two nails. But so far I'm quite pleased with how they're looking. Um, I haven't really used a specific size nail brush, I'm just kind of like switching between them. Um, I'm not using the actual brush, sorry I'm using the little dotters. Um, let's take them out and have a look. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with them actually. They're quite bright in summary. Um, this hand always goes better because I'm so shaky when I use my left hand on my right. So I've got my right hand to do and then like it's basically done. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how they're looking. So 
so I am just doing kind of the last coat on my nails. I've just done the top coat, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how they're looking. Once I've finished it, I'll obviously show you like closer up because the camera angles haven't been the greatest, but I have been enjoying my Harry Potter reactions. I'm currently watching Screen Slurp. <laughs> Um, him and his girlfriend watching Harry Potter. Anyway, it is now really late. It's um quarter past 12 It always takes me such a long time to do them But especially when I'm doing like more intricate designs because it just takes so long using my left hand But I had to redo it so many times I'm gonna cut the clips out, but I started and then rubbed it out started. Oh, it was honestly a nightmare Anyway, I'm nearly finished and I will get back to you once I am like fully finished The nails are officially done. I've done like all the cleanup. Well, as best as I can, here is what they look like. I'm pretty pleased with them. Um, I love the colours. There are some bits are a little bit dodge, but I mean that's what you get from doing them yourself. If you went to a salon, they would be like perfect. But for doing it myself, I get to sit and watch whatever I want while I do them, and. I don't have to pay each time. Obviously I've had to buy everything to begin with, but like I can use this stuff for literally so long now. So it's just perfect really. And I mean, I've watched, I'm on Goblet of Fire, I'm watching. So I've got through quite a few. Obviously they're not full movies that I've been watching. That is how I do my nails. I've done the top coat. I then just take the oil and I just pop it around the cuticles. So here you go. Cute. I'll insert a photo, if I remember. Um, what, when was the last day I filmed? Was it yesterday? It is now Sunday. I could say Monday, it's Sunday. Um, I've just had a full day at work. It is quarter past six. I've literally just got home. I think I left at five to six, so I've literally just got in. But I have a couple Amazon parcels, which I'm gonna share with you guys. I ordered a few bits yesterday. Some for myself now and some for uni. Also, I do just wanna say, I know I've been kind of filming here and there what I've been getting for uni, but I'm gonna do like a full on uni video, like all at one, because there'll be some people who will wanna see that. But for now, it's just like, you guys are getting the sneak peeks. Okay, so I've got a small box and then a bigger box. I did th thought I had three. I did thought. I did think I had three, but clearly not. Okay, so we've got two wooden spoons. Lovely. These are the cheapest I could find, and they were like a pound, so I thought that was really good. I've got a potato peeler. Um, I'm very particular in what I like for my potato peeler, so this is what I've got. It's one of these with um, like a longer handle. I just find that they work so, so well. And it's what we've always had, so. Um, okay, this must be the cheese grater. I haven't had a cheese grater like this before. Very important question. Are you more of like a small edge grater or a large edge grater? I'm a small edge grater. I always have been. Most of my family are a large edge grater though. What's that noise, Sam? Sammy's gonna flop on the camera in a minute. Hey darling. I came in and he like was in my little basket of blankets and he just meowed and I was like oh. So you can so it's a little pot that you pop your grater on. I mean I don't know how good it's gonna be. It was really cheap. I guess if you're just holding on though and grating your cheese it's not gonna fall off. But if you tip it upside down it'll fall off. So you've got a lid to keep your grated cheese in. I'll only bring this oh but if I'm doing carrots if I'm grating carrots I like a big a big grater okay so this is kind of like a niche thing but this is a little mini sewing kit I'm dancing so I might need a sewing kit and also if, if things break it's just like a mini one so it's got some threads in it so um, it's got a little tape which feels very thin needles some safety pins a couple buttons a pair of scissors, some stitch like unpickers, some pins, a thimble, like how just perfect is that? So yeah, that was like seven pounds I wanna say. Okay, so the last thing I got, I was debating whether to get in a set or buy things separately. So this is like kitchen utensils, because I thought obviously I'm not gonna need all of the ones that come in a set, but at the same time, buying them all individually is looking to be quite expensive. So I'm going to see, I thought I'd order this and kind of see how it is. Okay, they're all like individually wrapped. 
but it came with a little utensils pot which I probably won't use but I could use it for something else you know egg brush got a little like um another like scraper thing a handheld whisk which could be useful a spatula this I know for sure I need one of these this is for like my poached eggs you know um and then this one is more for like scooping out your meals i don't know um i've never actually used one of these but i used one the other day and i thought it was genius this was so good but i'm not sure if i'll need this for just myself i've got a pair of tongs these are silicone so i will probably use these um but sometimes i think i'm gonna want a metal pair because some things just don't pick up very well with silicone but i think these will be so useful a little um slicer spatula thing i don't actually know what these are called like this would also be good for a poached egg like how good is that i feel like i would use this we don't have one of these at home but i feel like i could get a lot of use out of that a potato masher i also don't want to use too many like metal utensils because i've bought nice pans and i don't want them to ruin another spatula thing which again would be so useful so like most of this stuff i'm going to use so it just Felt silly to, oh, I don't know. Got the soup ladle. Oh, that's so weird. That makes the hair on my face go static. Okay, so that's the kitchen utensils. So I'm gonna show like my mum and dad that later and I'll see what they think. Um, I've just got literally just a couple of things I'm gonna show you. So I was talking about nails yesterday actually and I've actually ordered a ton of um, nail stuff. So I had to get some new nail popsicles as I call them. Um, I thought these were coming like in a few days. So that's good. Um, and then I got one, two, three, four. I got five nail polishes from Beatles <coughs> and one from Blue Sky. I was gonna order a couple from Love Candy Coat as well, um, but I didn't in the end because I found some good colours here, but if I'm not a huge fan of these, then I'll order some of them. Huge packet of Jolly Ranchers. I just saw them, and I really wanted them, so. Okay, so I'll start off with the Blue Sky one. So I do actually have a couple Blue Sky nail polishes, but not loads. So this shade is Hollywood Red Carpet. So I actually have a wedding coming up. I have a dress. Um, I have ordered a couple to try as well, and these are kind of in case I like the dress. This um, is kind of darker than it shows on camera. It's more of like a deep red, but yeah. Some of these aren't like ones that I would wear now. Some are more wintry ones. Like I've just got, um, I've got a whole range, honestly. So this one here um, is probably going to be more of a wintry one. So this is A386. And it's this gorgeous like deep blue i'm just gonna open them up oh, look at that is eight two seven one it is different um as i said it's a very similar tone oh, that is stunning look at that is eight a two eight seven which is more of a green don't know if you can see that. A224. That looks like such pretty pink. Slightly darker in person. That's a gorgeous baby pink. I was thinking it was a darker pink. No, it's a baby pink. It's a different colour to what's on the top. And then the last one is A275, which is more of like a nudie brown, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look. That needs a shake. <laughs> Can you see that colour? And I don't really have a nude brown. I've got quite a few nude pinks, but not a nude brown, so. That is everything that I got. Um, I will leave links down below to some things. If I haven't linked everything and there's something that you want, then um, just ask me down below and I will get a link for you. Yeah, that is my little haul. I have a couple more bits coming, um, which I might include in this vlog, but I might have started another vlog, so I'm not sure. I feel like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have my nails done when I go to bed, so I might make the most of it now. <laughs> So um, it's a little bit later, We've I don't remember whether I said, but we had a holiday booked to Madeira for in July, but <sighs> Madeira's in Portugal and it's now been moved off of the green list and we can't guarantee that it's going to be back on when our holiday's booked for, so we're going to have to cancel it. Um, 
which I'm kind of gutted about. <laughs> I was so excited. We're hopefully gonna move it to next year instead because I loved the place that we found, me and mum found it. But instead we're gonna have a UK holiday. So we've just booked um, some time in the Lake District, um, a couple of days in Edinburgh and then hopefully somewhere else. I'm just waiting to hear back from a lady who I messaged um, about a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> so random um but yeah that's what we've been doing this evening we had a nice roast dinner which was really good and my mum and dad liked the utensils and stuff my mum just looked we had it's all like building up in the spare room and my mum was just like she's got nicer stuff than me I think we should start looking at our collection and I was like you don't really want to hear that <laughs> well I do it's nice stuff but not like super nice anyway um my room is a mess, I didn't do it, but I did swatch my nail things, they look really good. But yeah, I've just got a tea and I'm going to head into bed. I think I'm going to end this vlog here because I don't think I really have anything else to like show, I'm at work tomorrow and that kind of thing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, check out my other videos and check out the links that I've left in the description. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Oh my god, there's so many things. I'll see you all soon. <laughs> Bye.